Oh, this like can't I'm be happening to me. To me. The only one. We can't let them get away with this. They have to tell us. Excuse me. Please. She won't Did they the send police. you to protect me? I'm not Montag. I don't need your help. Go play somewhere else. If it wasn't for Johnny, I might have paid you for this. Give it a rest. Did the obvious would happen here. Are you a journalist? We should head out no, for a quick break. but she Nothing was. Happen. And she had enemies. I hear there's been a series of these. Tabloids write that shit to sell copies. No, this was political. It's always political. They love to tear us apart. Gruesome, isn't it? I can't look away. It was just a matter of time before they got her. Before who got her? She's that journalist. The one writing all those things about... You know who. You'll have to fill me in. Radko Maximilian Perry? The local anti-Aug politician? That's Angela Gunn lying there. She's the one that's been writing about him. There was a threat of a scandal and everything. Coincidence? It's important to follow the evidence in situations like this. You can't just accuse people left and right. I gave you evidence. I told you. The articles. Right. Other than that, is there anything else that makes you think this politician might be responsible? Damn right there is. Fucker told my car once. When he was municipal transport minister. I see. I hate that guy so much. Did you actually see anything? I just got here. So I see what you see. A dead augmented journalist. Thanks. This is some sick shit right there. We can't let them get away with this. I recognize you. Or neighbors. I've seen you in our building. You're very difficult to miss. By chance, did someone send you to investigate? No, no one sent me. What happened here? It's horrible. An augmented woman was killed. Just outside of where we live. She looks like she was my age. It's so sad that nothing will be done about this. Org victims are not high on the list of police priorities. To them, it's like a dog lying in the street. You... you're not a cop, are you? I work with someone else. Another agency. That's perfect. You outrank the police? Depends who you ask. The detective here. He... he's not willing. I got the feeling he doesn't care. What about you? What's your interest in all this? Morbid curiosity? God, no. I want nothing more than to go home. Detective Montag, he's making me stay. He... he thinks I saw something. Did you see something? Maybe. I think I would rather not say, to be honest. Because if... I had seen something, and if I started talking about it, wouldn't that put me in danger? It's natural to be scared. Then you understand. I don't want to get involved if I don't have to. Sure, I understand. You don't know anyone here. But there's a chance this could happen again. The more you're willing to cooperate with the police, the better the odds of catching whoever's responsible. I know. It's just that I don't trust the police. I would feel safer with someone like you. You have more reason to be invested in this than they do. You're augmented, like the victim was. And you look like you could actually protect me. It's not my case. But maybe you could help. Please, neighbor. Talk to Detective Montag. At least see how it's going. Make sure he doesn't think he's on vacation just because the victim is an orc. I'll talk to the officer in charge and see where he is with the investigation. If I can help him, I will. Thank you. Suppose I end up remembering something later. Is there a way for me to contact you? You planning to run off on me already? The first chance I get. There are times for standing in the cold, but this isn't one of them. I just want to go home, bolt the door, and never come out again. Of course, I will wait for Detective Montag to say it's okay first. And I'll still try to answer whatever questions you may have. 
I can give you access to my info link. You should feel free to use it if you have to. Thank you, neighbor. Talk to you about what happened. How come she talks to him and not to me? I have some questions for you. I will cooperate. You have promised to help, and so I will try to help as well. How did the attack happen? What was the killer doing? He was on top of her, cutting the evil out. That's what he called it. I, I mean, I think. So you heard his voice? Very clearly, yes. He sounded confident, authoritarian, like a general commanding troops. What did he say, exactly? It is time to make you whole again. What were you doing here? I was looking for Starlight, my cat. There was lightning and suddenly this flash of certainty. That's when I knew something awful was happening. Where were you exactly? In the shadows. My head was down. I couldn't move. Oh God, stupid Daria. I shouldn't have gone out today. The energies were all wrong. Is there anything else I should know about you? You want to know about Daria? What is there to tell? Small town girl came to the big city to escape her problems. To try and become someone else. Did it work? Not really. You can't escape yourself. You can't just come to a big city and expect all your problems to seem smaller. It doesn't work that way. Can you remember anything about what the killer looks like? To be honest, I saw more of the shadow than the man. I remember he was very big. And the shadow, it covered everything. So you can't describe him? Not the face, no. His clothes, he was wearing something very dark. Black, maybe blue. Was he augmented? He moved like an augmented man, but I can't say for sure. Why is it you don't trust the police to take care of this case? I have bad memories of the police. What kind of memories? Get calls I didn't want, tickets I didn't deserve. The policemen here are, are worse than children, former captains of high school sports teams who never recapture their years of glory. I was captain of the debate team in high school. Yes, well, debate is different. What's your take on Montag? You ever meet him before tonight? I went to the station once, years ago, to complain about the ticket. Detective Montag is the one they send you to handle the paperwork. How'd he do? He did fine. The point is, he's a desk jockey. Look at him, he's lost out here. The cops who know how to catch killers, they're not the ones sent to investigate murdered ox. I'm gonna do what I can to help the investigation. Good luck. So, Daria was actually talking to you, huh? I could barely get two words out of her. What did she say? Did she see anything? You mean your witness over there? She's... She's not sure yet. <laughs> How can she not be sure? Either she saw something or she didn't. She's scared. She thinks she might be in danger. I told her she'll be fine and that whoever did this would be caught. I'd like to believe that's true. Sure, so would I. But as you can see, the victim was like you, augmented. That makes things a little more complicated, eh? Being a cop in this city, it's not always about doing the right thing, or about doing things the right way. I was a cop for 12 years. I know all about getting bad orders. The difference between what you're told to do and what you know is right. Tell me about it. So, how did you reconcile yourself with, uh, those kinds of orders? I quit. <laughs> I'm two months away from the beach. I'm not quitting. But I respect your idealism. It was a long time ago. I work for Interpol now. Interpol, huh? Listen, off the record, I've been told to forgo any unnecessary investigation. I want you to know, it's not my idea of how things should be done. Who told you to forego the investigation? 
Men who spend more time making policies than arrests. They want the victim's husband, Johnny Gunn, ex-PMC operative. Heavily augmented. All right. So if you're not comfortable with this, if you know things aren't being handled the way they should, why not do something about it? I thought I just did. Just because my hands are tied doesn't mean Interpol can't conduct a parallel investigation. Crime scene's right over there, and Johnny lives just a couple of blocks from here. I never said I was going to work your case for you. Uh, sure you did. Isn't that more or less the promise you made your little friend over there? She won't talk to a cop because she doesn't trust us. Smart girl. Look. My orders are to arrest the husband. You take a look around, get to Johnny before my guys do, who knows? Maybe we'll actually learn something. I'll let you know what I find. Careful of the evidence. Interpol. Just because do one they think they are? doesn't mean I do. Would you piss off to pull this duty? Doesn't it feel like something is about to happen? Hmm. Away from the crowd. Found something. Enjoying yourself, detective. I have some questions about the murder. Before we go any further with this, I need you to know something about Johnny Gunn. He's... He's not a good man. I may not like how my bosses are targeting him, but that doesn't mean he's innocent. So, you know, just make sure you're here for the right reasons. Why else would I be here? I don't want this to turn into some kind of crusade. Bad men do bad things. In a perfect world, we arrest them for the right reasons, but, well, the world's not always perfect. You'll only arrest the victim's husband if the evidence tells you to, right? It's not enough that he's an AUG, and that your bosses want him to go down. I'll hold my guys off for as long as I can. But unless you can prove someone else killed Angela, or at the very least that Johnny didn't, I don't have much choice. That's why I'm trusting you to talk to him. Give me your honest opinion on what happened here. Yeah. Why are you trusting me exactly? Because you gave me the impression of being qualified. Because I'm big enough to admit that maybe I can use the help and... Between you and me? Because the thought of confronting a man like Johnny Gunn scares the shit out of me. How long have you been a cop? <sighs> Too long. And of all the ways to go out, eh? What do you mean? I mean being assigned a case like this. It's HQ's little joke before sending me off to retirement. Oh, but don't worry about me, eh? I'm a survivor. I can make it through this. This case is a joke to you? I didn't say that. I said it's a joke to HQ. They know I haven't left my desk in years, but that doesn't mean I'm not qualified. Just... just a little rusty. People hold a hell of a grudge against Hogs, ever since the incident. Yes, and? Well, good thing the cops here are such professionals. Part of being a police officer is treating everyone the same, right? Og or no Og. It's not that simple, and you know it. A police force isn't some abstract ideal of what justice and law should be. It's an instrument of those in power. A reflection of the society it protects. I haven't been seeing a whole lot of protection out there. Well, that depends who you ask. I'm here because I don't like the idea of someone killing people right outside my window. Maybe he's out there right now, targeting that poor witness. Or maybe he's just looking for any chance to do it again. Fair enough, Mr. Interpol. Do you know if the victim had any enemies? I know she and Johnny didn't get along. 
Other than that, I really couldn't tell you. Tell me about the victim's husband, Johnny. He used to work for a private military company, Bell Tower. He's been arrested for all sorts of things in the past. Now don't get me wrong, I believe in evidence. But I also believe in playing the odds. Nine times out of ten, the husband did it. Why are your superiors so eager to pin Johnny for murder? It's gotta be more than just not liking the guy. Standard policy for guys like Johnny. The way they see it, you send a man like him into Golem City, and he's liable to go off the grid, end up with Arkor, God knows who. He becomes ten times more trouble than he's worth. But, if they can charge him with something big, something like murder, well, suddenly he's no trouble at all. Apparently the victim was mixed up in some kind of political scandal with a man named Radko Perry. Hey. Not the first time a politician and a journalist didn't get along. So you don't think he's worth talking to? Radko Perry? A murderer? Uh, I don't think so. Worst he can do to someone is get their car towed. Good thing I don't have a car. Where can I find this guy? Ah, Radko runs his campaign out of an old print shop not far from here. You want to brighten up his day? Be my guest. But that's all you'll be doing by telling him his rival is dead. I spoke to Daria. She's able to confirm that the suspect is male. Other than that, she's all over the place. I think she's pretty shaken up. Yeah, well, can't blame her. I would be too. You seem to have made a good impression, though. Ever since you got here, she seems... different. Calmer. <laughs> you know... I met my first wife over a crime scene. Let me give you a very important piece of advice, eh? Never marry the ones you save. Did the killer leave anything behind? Does anything strike you as odd? I don't know. It's a murder, you know? Doesn't matter if you look at it sideways or upside down. It's never going to look normal. I found a broken needle stuck in the victim's shoulder. The killer might have drugged Angela before killing her. Maybe. But keep in mind, she was an og. Don't you all have to shoot up that new pal shit? Let's go for the obvious before jumping to any wild conclusions. I'm assuming you know her augments were harvested. The marks on her body make it seem like the killer knew exactly what he was doing, knew exactly what he wanted. <sighs> The way you said that just now. What about it? The way you described the AUG removal. And before, you mentioned the broken needle in the right shoulder? That's right. It reminds me, you know. There was this cop, Smolinski. He used to work in this neighborhood. He had this theory about a copycat. Someone acting just like a dead killer named, um... Zvobotka. You think there's a connection to another case? I don't know yet. But I remember him mentioning something about needles and og removal. Smolinski died in the police station bombing. Whatever files he had would have been moved into temp storage across the street from the bombed out station. Who knows? Maybe it's nothing. I found a print on Angela's neck, next to the contusion marks. It's a partial, so I don't think we can match it to anything. But at least we know the killer left something. And that she was strangled. Huh. A fingerprint. I must have missed that one. This is exactly the kind of evidence I'm talking about. No way Johnny could squirm his way out of something like that. If only we could link it to him. Anything I should know about the scene? Anything jump out at you? The dismembered body jumps out at me. Keep in mind, I've been behind that desk for the last 12 years. It all jumps out at me. I found what looks like a grenade fragment. EMP by the looks of it. Killer might have used this to incapacitate her. Interesting. Johnny wouldn't need an EMP to take down his wife. Riot police use EMPs to re-establish public order around here. 
With all the Og riots, anti-Og riots, it wouldn't surprise me if that's all it was. Steel. Interesting. I found this piece of glass near the body. A pair of broken glasses, maybe? I don't know what to tell you. We're in the back alley of a major city. There's bound to be broken glass. I found this press ID on the victim. Right, she was a journalist. Hence the scandal with Radko Perry. I still don't consider that proof of anything. I want to help you with this case. To do that, I need a rundown of what you know already. Help me, huh? You mean, like being my subordinate? I mean like making sure we catch whoever's responsible. Right. Well, I have a dead body, Angela Gunn. I have bureaucratic pressure to arrest the augmented husband, Johnny Gunn. I have a crime scene, and I have you. I have what I need for now. I should go. You do whatever you have to. Interpol. Who do they think they are? I have some questions for them. I will cooperate. I'm gonna do what I can to help the investigation. Good luck. If you don't want any surprises, you might want to be more specific. Shut up, Clank! I want your papers, not your opinion. Fuck me. We do not want trouble. There is no need to start any trouble, yes? You sure you don't want to see anything else? What do you want? You have been cleared through this checkpoint. Go! We do not want trouble. <laughs> Oh, no respect. Blank. Are you Radko Perry? If this is about that anti-Og speech I gave, save your indignation, okay? I'm only the voice of the people. I'm only saying what they want to hear. Your problem, it isn't with me. It's with the way this issue is polling. I'm here about Angela Gunn. Who? A journalist. She was found dead in an alley. Oh, how sad. But you wouldn't know anything about it. What? No. But the fact that you could imply such a thing. I am a public figure. But rest assured, my team will look into it. I'll even send the family a gift basket. How does that sound? You owe the family a little more than that, don't you? I told you, I had nothing to do with whatever happened. Now, who are you? Why are you really here? I'm here because I heard Angela found skeletons in your closet. Well, lucky for me that she's dead then, huh? No, but seriously, what kind of skeletons? Is that all you care about? She was just murdered. You could show a little more compassion. Compassion is for the cameras, but hey, maybe you should be the politician. For a second there, I almost believed you care. Your politics are viciously anti-Og, is that accurate? Viciously? I like that. Do you go out of your way to incite violence against Ogs? I wouldn't call it going out of my way. More like it's on my way. A flower you pick as you pass by. To be honest, my politics aren't even based on an ideology. It's very simple for me. I tell people what they want to hear, and I stay out of jail. You're not doing a very good job tonight. I'm doing just fine. You really hate Augs that much? Some more than others. Tell me about your relationship with Angela. 
Angela. Angela who? Angela Gunn. The journalist who's apparently been writing some very insightful articles about you. Oh, her. She did a nice job of keeping my name in the news. Local politics is a real slog, you know. As long as they're talking about you, it's good. Even if she was saying things you didn't like? Sure, why not? Angela's readers were never my voters. I'm not exactly courting the org vote here. Did Angela and I share views? No. Did we like each other? Not one bit. But our hatred was professional, not personal. Nothing to kill over. Sure you don't want to add anything about Angela? She got what she deserved, but not from me. Can you tell me where you were tonight? Out getting votes. Can anyone attest to that? Sure. Any number of people. My secretary, my brother, my mother. I just need to call them to remind them they were with me. That's all. I'll make the calls. You worry about giving me a list of names and numbers. Sure. My office will forward you the information within two to three months. Two to three months. Scout's honor. You don't think this is serious? I think murder is very serious, but the notion that I could be involved in one is not. So you're not gonna tell me where you really were tonight? Evidently not. You sure you don't want to rethink your fake alibi? Where I was tonight is none of your business. I have what I need for now. Good for you. Out of here. This is Eliza Cassell. No cunners allowed. Soundproof the basement. Nothing but trash, as usual. 
What's your position? Officially, I think they are a menace to society. And unofficially? You're a real big fan of us, aren't you? Some of us, anyway. My position on Augs is nothing personal, if that's what you mean. Like I said, I am a servant of the people. Their desires are my desires. Their prejudices, my prejudices. I'm talking about your desires. The ones depicted in that photo. Very artistic. That picture is private. Who are you? See, I think your position on Augs is a little more complex than you've been letting on. Apparently, Ivanka has footage of what you were doing tonight. Trying to convince those Aug sisters to vote for you, is that it? What do you want? Unlike everyone else you seem to know, I'm not trying to blackmail you. I just want to know who murdered that woman tonight. Wish I could help you, but as you can see, I was busy with something else, of which there is ample video evidence. You're not going to tell anyone, are you? Your hypocritical private life isn't my concern right now. I just want to know who was in that alley tonight. It wasn't me. Now, if you want to keep slinging mud at poor Radko Perry, go right ahead. But as far as I'm concerned, you know I'm not a killer. Well, that's for me to decide, Radko. I can't let you Hello. That much is cracked down will hurt the business. What part of the world? Listen to that guy. Make sure it doesn't hurt to be alone. Yeah, defend against that kind of thing. Reporting. And now for a close look at the events making headlines. 
son of a bitch! Bring anything to drink? You bust into a man's home, you should at least bring a drink. Are you Johnny Gunn? That's right. What do you want? Have you heard about your wife? Which one? Excuse me? I've been married a bunch of times. Which wife are we talking about? Angela's dead. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you. They found her body in an alley. Yeah, well, you're not the one to tell me, so... I appreciate your way of trying to break it to me, though. Do you know if she died quick or not? No, I don't. I hope so. Angie didn't deserve to suffer. So you did know already? Your detective friend called, told me to sit tight and wait for you, so... Here I am, sitting tight. Being cooperative. I found a note from your doctor. You lost your hands in New South Wales. I got new hands in New South Wales, is the way they sold it to me. Whatever else the killer did to her, Angela was strangled. Whoever did it left a partial print on her neck, which, apparently, you're not capable of. Oh, 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 fingerprints are for human beings, Mr. Gunn. You'll find not having them allows you to be so much more effective. They did it so you could kill better. So I'd never get caught. Ironic, right? Being a good killer is probably what saves me here. Or, you still think I killed Angela? I'm sorry for what Bell Tower did to you. Don't be. They gave me tools they wanted me to have. That it was in their interest for me to have. But the decision to use them, that was all me. Now, if you don't mind, I'd very much like to be left alone. You're joking, right? By the way, I told Daria to go home. I really don't think she saw anything. I think I'm finally ready to shed some light on Angela Gunn's murder. That's good news. My bosses are eager to know why I haven't arrested Johnny yet. The truth is, we're not even close. Not yet. Why do you say that? What about Johnny? The more I think about all this, the more I can't shake the feeling. Johnny Gunn killed his wife. This was the work of a Harvester copycat. This isn't some domestic dispute gone horribly wrong. It's part of something bigger. Someone's out there, pretending to be a dead serial killer. I see you looked into that old case I pointed you to up. The M.O. is a perfect match. I read the notes and I compared them to this murder. The two victims were killed by the same person, I'm sure of it. All right. Let's say that's true. That doesn't necessarily exclude Johnny. It just means he's killed more than one person. Look, I'm just telling you what I found. For a while, I thought it might be Radko Perry, that maybe he was behind all of this, but that wasn't right either. What makes you so sure? 
I pretended to be Radko during a text messaging conversation. Turns out he rented himself a couple of augmented girlfriends the night of the murder. He was with them the whole time. They got video that proves it and they're using it to blackmail him. Uh, the less I know about Radko's personal life, the better. What I meant was, what makes you so sure it can't be Johnny? Remember that partial print I found on the victim's throat? What about it? Johnny Gunn hasn't had fingerprints since the Australian Civil War. His hands are made of alloy. If he had strangled her, he wouldn't have left a smudge. Alloy, huh? Shit. So, where does that leave us exactly? We followed the evidence we had. This is where it led us. You mean nowhere? I'm not sure exactly. I think a lot of the pieces are there. They're just not ready to be put together. Not yet. All right. That should be enough for me to get the rope off Johnny's neck. But it doesn't help me solve anything, does it? I mean, unless we learn more, there's no one I can drag in for this. Let's just hope learning more doesn't mean having to meet over another dead body. Hey, Rookie! Get over here! Interpol. Time Who to wrap this they up. Are? You think I don't know what's going on here? I can't feel my toes, man. It's a super fuck. And would someone please get me a damn coffee? Gruesome, isn't it? I'm not Montag, I don't need your help. Daria, are you there? Is that you, neighbor? Are you checking up on me? It's very sweet. Are there any leads? I don't know who killed Angela Gunn. But I do know it wasn't an isolated case. Is that supposed to make me feel better? No, but it's the truth. Just try to be careful. Keep a low profile. If anything happens, if you ever think you're in danger, you know how to reach me. Thank you, but let's hope it doesn't come to that.